so got a new project on the whole I'm on holiday so I thought I've been trying to get this one done for a while this is a um, Bose uh, iPod dock speaker used to have I just pulled it apart so it used to sit like this and then then shield um you plug it into the wall mains and you play your iPod through it um, no one uses iPods like this anymore and what I've done, I've, I pulled out the original board, really good amp, but it was going to be difficult for me to kind of hack it to try to get it work. And it was attached behind this, which is really good design, it's connected to this heat sink, it was really nice. But, but what I've got here, I've just got a um, the old D, I think it's a yeah, D class amp, it's a cheapy Chinese, uh, some TDA, so it's 25 watt, apparently, I'd probably halve that. And um, it's got a little um, Bluetooth 4 module on there, so you can just sync it up with your phone and just play it. Or your any any Bluetooth device you can play it through. So, so this was plugged into a PowerPoint before, but now I'm gonna got this old um, Jiffy box reclaimed from my work was in the East Cycle pile, and it's got like a lid. Had a little sticker on there. It was a um, weather monitoring device, but it was obsolete and chucked out. So I thought about putting in uh, what was it six times four? Oh, uh, three. So a little bit twelve batteries. I could could do this, as, but I'm thinking oh, I'm always using adding six fifties, and I don't have to. So I've got a bunch of these batteries, and I've got a couple more testing here. But these are from iPads. These are little, um, lipos. The, the 4.35 volt charging on these ones, but I can I can use these at I can use them for um uh 4.2 volts just to keep them happy and longer life. So I'm thinking about doing nine. I'll obviously I've got a couple more testing, so I'm going to do nine of these like this. I think I'll just chuck them in the box like so and have them. I'm thinking 3S, so so it'd be three parallel, three in series. And we've got one more in there, and the box will close on there. And then have a bit of nice. It doesn't. I, I ran it off my power supply. It doesn't use that many amps, so I just chuck that in there, put the lid on there, and I'll um, probably screw hole it through to the back here, like so, and just piggyback it all get it off the top like that, or just the back like that it's not going to be the best looking thing but it's at least to be portable and I'll just run off the batteries and I'll probably reuse a hole if I can and put a charge port in there or not it depends and um, maybe run the cables out the back so yeah I don't know it's just upcycling something that's you know because Bose used really nice speakers and this thing was pretty loud it's not going to be as good quality as it used to be but I don't know, it's making use of something that's already good. Enclosures already designed for these speakers. So I'll just, um, I think it might, they used to have like a ribbon cable came through here and this closed shut. And, but I've, I put the wires through there and it's just, it's pumping out air. So I probably might, what I'll do, I'll just drill a hole through here and I'll, I'll um, seal the wires up and arrow die, like a two pack epoxy or something like that. So that it would be a nice tight seal in there <coughs> and probably run power through the back that used to be the um, power jack at the back and just run that through to the box and the box has got a hole there maybe like so i don't know we'll work it out it's not going to be waterproof but yeah you know, i'm just going to have it inside and you know take it outside on sunny days so that's the idea we're going to use some old recycled um lipos these are perfect size for this enclosure i could have three 3d printed the box but yeah it takes time i've got design and then fusion and then, you know to rinse and repeat if it fails it just takes a little overnight to print miles use something that's already got so i've got a couple more here these ones are charging up so i can test them they've already done self-discharge tests on these ones so i've got these two just charging. I'm just using the IMAX B6 Minis to test these. So yeah, this new little project, something to do, and um, hopefully it might sound alright. I'll bring you back when I'm 
got some more progress. All right, just um, moving forward on this uh, Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to mount it here. I'm going to run the wires through there. I'm going to clog that up with, say, hot glue or epoxy or something like that. Instead of going through those other batteries, I'm just going to have three of these. I'll show you exactly why. So they will slot in this hole here. It's fine. That's where the old um, amplifier used to be. So I've got the wires running through there. I'm just going to hook these up in series and I'll just run this um, 3SBMS little cheapy Chinese one. That should do the trick. And then I'll have to run another cable out for the charger. So this will be the power and this will be the battery. Sorry, bad focusing there, guys. Yeah. So I'm just going to solder these up, uh, wrap them in Kapton tape and put them in series. I'll put a balance lead on it too. And I'll just leave the balance lead inside of here. So maybe once in the blue moon, I'll just take this cover off and balance charge them. But this BMS should keep them... Um, it's not a balancing model, but it'll cut off when the, the lowest or the highest cell voltage or whatnot, which is fine. You know, you don't always want to charge it at 4.2 exactly on even. You know, you, you get longer life if you go to 4.1 or something like that per cell. Yeah, some are going to be a bit higher, some are going to be a bit lower. But this is, yeah, I'm just trying to use something that was going to get thrown out in the bin, so... Yeah, it's no loss, and these are getting thrown in the bin. Same thing I basically bought in the amplifier. It's quite cheap, you know. So, try to make something of it, and I'll put a charge. Just probably put a, um, just gonna put a uh, Dean's like T connector on here, and just charge it out from the back, and they'll plug straight into the IMAX V6 or, or whatnot. So, I'll bring you back when I've got these batteries set up, and I'll put it together, and we'll give it a test, see how it sounds like. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to, um, make a 3S pack. These are two in parallel, but in the database I just consider them to be, um, I consider them 1P. I just call them pairs, because it, yeah, if they work together well, they're good. So, I'm taking a photo of the top. So yeah, so it should be over 5 amp hours, probably about 5.1 amp hours. Yeah, they're fairly close match, they're not perfect. They're all the same brand, so that's good. Um, same, same model type. Batteries. Yeah, it's gonna solder these up in series. I will just um, put them like this, and have kept on tape in between. So go positive, and negative, positive, and negative, positive, and negative. And I'll also solder up the bounce leads as well. So yeah, I'll just I'll probably um, speed this part up because it's pretty boring. I just go on the negative first, just solder that on the negative side, negatives on the outer, two negatives are, two outers and outers are negative, and the center's positive. Pretty simple. Oh yeah, so I forgot I'm actually um, connecting it to a BMS, so it'll be separate. So this the good old um, Dean's T plug will be straight into this. So I might just do it right now. So I just worked out which ones, the neg negative is grey on this, on this side, then I'll just go, there'll be 4.2, 8.4, 12 12.6, so yeah, I'll just get soldering back up and we'll keep, get the leads on.
It's got some IPA here. Got to clean up this flux, the joints. Might it'll help the um, Capton stick a bit better too, I think. Okay, so that's the first battery done. I've got the connector connected to it. Just gotta be careful I don't short some of them. Then we'll um, cap on that up when it dries and I'll hook up the orange to the next one. So the orange is gonna to go to the ne negative, so I'm just measuring it up, pushed it through. Check this focus in there. I'm just gonna trim it to size and then I'll so it's about right there. And I'll just um, just uh, strip the wire and then solder it on. Rinse and repeat. Right. Just got the second one on, and then we're gonna. All we're gonna do is the last one. We're gonna even put that on the. Ah, did I do that wrong? No, that's right. Next one goes. One, two, three. So be zero. Four point two. 8.4, next one, okay, next one's on the next positive, sweet. Right, let's clean this up. Yeah, that's clean enough. Rinse and repeat, last one. Okay, it's all back to give again. It's all fine. I'm gonna go get the multimeter. Oh, let's hope they don't touch. Okay, so we got 421, 415, 415. Sure can see that. Yep, so that's fine. It's good. Uh, 12.51. Cool. Let's pull that good. Just careful I don't short those so they'll make a nice little sparky be mess. So, cut these wires the battery positive to we'll go over here. So we're give them a bit of positive here. Okay, and negative is over here. I'm just going to solder this up to the BMS now. I might just do the balance leads first to stop them sparking. Okay guys, it's been a couple of days. Still got the noisy builders in the background, but um, all I did is just solder up the negative and the positive and um, we'll get the multimeter. Yeah, you can see that. It's gone. But if you go on the output of the BMS, you'll notice we're getting nothing out of it. So that's a little trick for young players. There, you think, oh, the BMS is broken, but it's not. So if we go on the negative here and the positive of the battery, we're getting 12.53 volts. So there's power going to it. When you usually get these things, you got to chuck them on the charger straight away to initialize them. So down here got the DC the Minghee 6 amp 
uh, buck boost converter set to 12.6 volts with 4.2 times 3 and I'll just plug it in let's see what we get Just, I'm getting 620 milliamps. I'll just show you there, that's on the milliamps. And it's dropping. So now it's getting power to it. So what we can do now is just unplug it. So let's see if, if we get some voltage now. Back to DC. Oh, you can see that. Supplies on there. Okay, let's try it again. Right, it's 12.5655 volts. So that basically, what you got to do is the first time you ever use these, you got to plug in the charge and initializes it, and then it then it works. So, yeah, first time I did this, I thought my BMS was faulty because it wasn't getting voltage out, but nah, it works fine. So I'm just going to plug it into the into the um, into the Bose speaker. I'm not, I haven't put the Kapton tape on yet. I just you know if something if I've got something wrong, I don't want to um, don't want to break it. So yeah, let's check it out. Plug it in. Before I plug it in, I'll just show you what I've done. I've just um, screwed the bottom on there. Hopefully, I'll screw it just to show you what I've done. So what I've done, I've put a um, single throw switch in there. So the way that's wired is um, when it's off, so the ba the battery power's off, it, it is connected to so the positive it is so the ground's common, and the positive is connected to the charge port. This is the Dean's T connector charge, and when it's on, it's connected to the um, to the amplifier board, the Bluetooth amplifier. Just so I think you should. It's good to have it off, and it just serves as dual purpose, so I can um, so you can only charge it while it's turned off. You just get a lot of noise and whatnot. So yeah, it's all it's all in, it's all routed through. I've got the Dean's T plug inside here. Now it's falling out, but that's fine. And then I'm gonna plug it. So now, we should see some lights. There we go. Not sure if you can see that flashing. Yep, it's flashing. So we've got power. Woohoo! So it should be working. I will bring you back and I'll get a something to play MP3s. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my. I can't play music on this and record a video at the same time on my phone, so I'll, I've got another phone here. Okay, connected. I can't play any generic music because it is uh, copyrighted and YouTube will flag it and probably ban me from being online. So I'll just play one of my videos. Ah, and I forgot to plug the speakers in. Hang on, I've got to plug the speakers in so I'll bring you back. Alright. Alright, it works. Wicked! It works guys! So I'm just going to kept on tape this all up, this pack, and um, tie everything up, screw everything in, seal it all up, put it back together, and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, this is all done. Well, um, I'll, I'll spit a put a um, clip in after this of it playing but yeah it's all covered up I had to had to file down the heat sink um, cover plate because it was touching the battery but that's fine I'll just grab the file and file away and um, the switch works 
to okay, charge so it up. IMAX basics plugged in. Put in here. Just gonna do a ch charge, not a balanced charge. Yeah, we can do two amp and a three S. Yes. The cockroach inside my screen, a little baby one. It's really annoying me. Yeah, picking it up. Twelve point. So it's gone through the BMS. It's switched off, so it should be charging the battery. See what the um, BMS takes it. Yep, here we go. It's coming in now. 0.4 amps. So it's doing constant voltage. Sweet. So yeah. And watch this. If I turn it on, it's disconnected. So the battery's disconnected. So there we go.